to meet you. <laughs> um, so first of all, I'm just going to go through the consent form, and then I'm going to have you do a couple questionnaires, and then we'll get you started. Okay? Um, so I'll let you look through this, um, but just to go over it briefly and sort of tell you what everything means, and then I'll have, let you have some time to read it yourself if you would like. Um, the main purpose of the study is just to better understand how the brain works and how to monitor brain activity. We're using a newer technique that's very non-invasive um, brain imaging technique called near-infrared spectroscopy. Um, what we'll have you do is just a simple finger tapping task and that will help us um, locate the motor related, motor related areas of your brain. Um, the nearest method measures local blood flow in the brain um, and it allows us to um, measure the level of oxygen rich blood compared to oxygen poor blood. And this is a good index of neural activity. We'll have a cap on your head um, that has off tones that will shine low intensity light into your scalp and that's how we detect um, the blood. We'll have you come in for two days. Each time will be 60 to 90 minutes. Um, and this will, everything will be here at the VA. We're trying to get about 15 people. So first of all, I'm going to have you, like I said, do complete a couple questionnaires. Um, one, it's just about um, your caffeine intake, your medical history, and the medications you're on. Um, and then another one is a stress inventory. And then we'll have you fill out a form that and allows us to compensate you for this study. Um, and then after that, we'll have you um, do a take a blood pressure, and then we're going to get you started with the imaging. So first off is um, we're just going to do some imaging in the resting state. So we're just going to have you focus on a fixation cross on the monitor um, for seven minutes. So try not to think about anything if you can, um, but do avoid falling asleep. Just try to fixate on the props and sort of have a clear mind. Um, after that, we'll have you do the motor task, and um, this is going to be tapping on your thighs. We're going to do right hand for 30 seconds, left hand for 30 seconds, and then both. And we'll go over that again and allow you time to practice that. So um, once we get you in position. When we say go, it'll, it'll mean for you to start tapping, and when we say rest, just stop and just don't fixate on the cross. Um, after that, we'll do a visual task, and we're trying to generate activity in parts of the brain that process visual, visual signals from the eyes. We're going to fixate on a red square um, that's in the middle of um, a checkerboard. Um, for 30 seconds, the pattern will flicker back and forth, and then for 30 seconds, it'll um, stay the same. So try to fixate on the red square the entire time. And that one will take about six minutes, as well as the motor task will take about six minutes. Um, the risk involved with this study is very low. There's very non-invasive. Non -invasive. There's no known medical risk with this procedure. You may feel a little tired at the end just from still and silent. Um, the benefits of, for this, it probably won't benefit you personally. Um, we hope that the findings of the study will add to the general knowledge of human sensory and cognitive development. Um, everything will be kept confidential. Um, all the files will be kept in a locked cabinet in a locked office. And after this, you'll be assigned a study number. We won't have your name attached to any of the files, questionnaires, or um, that we get. Compensation, you will be compensated $20 per session and that will be at the end of um, the second session that that will come out to you. And if you do decide to drop out of the study, we'll still compensate you $10, $10 per hour. If you do experience any study related injury, this is just a VA disclaimer that they will provide emergency medical care for you. Um, there's no cost for you to participate in the study, and if you do have any more questions after you get involved, you can always contact us with any questions, or um, the principal investigator of the study is Dr. Andrew Butler, whose number is on here. Um, if we
we were to have, find anything new from this study, we would let you know as soon as possible. And your participation is completely voluntary. So you have the right to refuse to be in the study at any time. Um, and if you, do you have any questions? <laughs> if you don't have any more questions, we'll have you sign here. Um, here's the pen. Just sign and date. And we'll make a copy of this for you to take with you. This form is just your typical HIPAA form, just allowing us to have access to your medical information. Um, we won't be calling your doctor or anything like that to get more information. It's just basically for us to have the information that we're gathering from you doing in this study and from the information we had from the prior study you participated in. Um, basically just says how your information might be used um, and what types of information would be disclosed or stored and where it will be stored. We stored at the VA and um, it will not be reused. Um, the only people that will have access to it are people in this study and the principal investigator as well as um, other administrations that are governing us um, such as or the Food and Drug Administration. And we'll only have access for the duration of the study um, and up to 10 years of the completion. And you can revoke this authorization of your health information at any time in writing. Okay. And do you have any questions about this? Okay. You can print and sign. take some time to complete this one and then this um, stress inventory. Okay. Just ask you if I have any questions. Yeah. This is just so that we can pay you um, the compensation part. So you just need to fill out that first page. Uh, just all your information. And I'll make copies of these um, while you're doing the study so you can take them home with you and take over if you have more. 